And Wal Kurana says the man who did it got away, but when he discovered there was help for crime victims, he found uncertainty again. News 5's Mona Kosar Abdi joins us now. Well, Mona, you found out many victims of all kinds of crimes end up footing the bill to repair the damage. That's right, starting with Kunwal Kurara, who in this lot found all four of his tires slashed and the hood of his car damaged, an act that he believes was racially motivated. But when he tried to seek relief through a state victims program, he discovered it's not that simple. The visible damage to Kunwal Kurana's new car has since been repaired. You know, somebody had tried to hit it or jumped on it. But the emotional wounds he suffered have yet to heal. I want the safety, the, the, I want to feel safe. Karana says shortly after moving downtown, he and his wife were walking back to their apartment, speaking Punjabi when a stranger addressed them. We heard something like, you know, go back to where you come from. Shaken up and shocked, the couple kept walking. But when they returned to their car, they noticed all four tires slashed and the hood damaged. This one here, like this one here, like this wide, Kurana filed a police report and a claim with his insurance, but some of the costs plus car rental fees came out of his pocket, so he turned to the Ohio Attorney General's office for help. They said, you know, uh, uh, are you physically hurt? That's because a main criteria for the victim's compensation fund is to be physically injured. Um, so unfortunately, somebody who's subjected to property damage is not going to necessarily fit that. Attorney Eric Long says there aren't many options for victims of nonviolent hate crimes seeking compensation. If the offender is charged with a crime, um, I would talk to the prosecutor about restitution. And Long says pursuing a civil case is more challenging and can end up costing you more in the end. There are certainly cases where it kind of becomes cost prohibitive for an attorney to get involved. In now, the only Ohio statute that speaks directly to hate crimes is the ethnic intimidation provision, which attorney Eric Long says might help you get out of legal fees by making the person convicted of the crime cover the tab. But we've also found that that provision does not cover hate crimes based on sexual orientation, gender identity or disability. Live in Cleveland, Monaco Sarabdi, News 5.